As has been noted, this is a significant hearing. It's significant because this is a step towards restoring a crucial independent commission to functionality. This is the first time in 40 years that FERC has lacked a quorum. And according to Bloomberg, up to $50 billion in projects are now at risk. Energy infrastructure needs improvement, uh, especially in Pennsylvania. As the members of this committee know, it's long past time to get FERC working again and the quorum it needs. I think the president made wise choices, wise choices in the selection of Robert Powelson and Neil Chatterjee for these important positions. We need to move quickly to restore FERC's ability to do its important work. If we care about the business of a critical independent expert agency, we need to have a fully functioning commission. And that's why I'm pleased that we're able to hold a hearing featured, featuring two very qualified nominees. We granted a conditional... So back in 2015, there was a conditional uh, authorization for the Alaska gas line to export uh, LNG to countries that don't have a free trade agreement with the United States. This was a pretty major milestone for our efforts in, in, in the state with the gas line in terms of how we can move forward towards achieving the investment necessary. We need to have some, some level of commitment that you will do what you can, um, provided you are, are approved, to see that not only the Alaska application, but all applications can proceed through a process in a timely and, and a predictable way. strive to, to be productive, to hear out uh, stakeholders on all sides, and, uh, and, and come to decisions that are in the interest of the country. And the committee will be in order, please. And I hope to, uh, to work with stakeholders in Alaska should I have the opportunity to move forward. Mr. Pallison. I think you put it best one time, if you look at the, 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 the the, the, uh, the investment that we have oversight of, is, if, if nominated, it's $400 billion per annum of critical infrastructure that needs to be approved by the FERC. I am compelled to interrupt this because I have seen the destruction that climate no, change causes. And to echo what uh, Neil said in his, his, his answer, uh, respecting that state right compact, the state's ability to develop their energy resources, and do it in a safe manner. Pipeline safety is critically important, and I stand behind that. And so as these projects develop, um, I want to be fair and balanced, look at the record, and obviously the business case, as you know, we don't build these projects on speculation. And so I would- First, first families, first, first families. Yeah.